Alright, welcome to the next episode. It's kind of funny, but no matter when I try and record these episodes, that's when the house gets noisy, uh, and I'm sure any anyone who does videos will, let you, will tell you that. So what I'm doing now is I am setting up a new tag, because we need to be able to find the ship creator. So I'm going to set up a tag called ship creator, and then I'm going to set the ship creator to the ship creator tag. That way we'll be able to find it later on. Uh, unfortunately, I actually created some of the infrastructure we need to do this already, so I'm going to just take you on a tour through it rather than re-implement it. I had to get rid of it because people were screaming outside of my house, uh, and then Firefox malfunctioned and ate all my RAM and then wouldn't close and just sat there and flickered. So uh, after finishing that up, I, uh, uh, I decided I wasn't going to reprogram that crap. I was going to just go ahead and show you what I did. So the first thing I did is over here in the ship nav control, when we drop out of warp, we just store a couple of values we're going to need for the actual combat. Now this is a really uh, crappy way to do it, and later on we'll replace this with an actual combat spec class. Um, but for now, we'd have a very, we don't have any concept of rewards or anything like that, so we're just going to do it with a basic seed, which is taken from the star, and then a number of ships, which is, the star actually just chooses a random number of ships since it's created. Uh, and you can see that here. Um, it gets past the seed and then it just chooses a random number of ships. Uh, you may note, you, you're going to want to check and make sure that you're passing in the correct seed because in my original code I forgot to pass in the star seed and instead it was passing in the galaxy seed, which is no good. Um, oh, well, there's the problem. So hold on, let me go ahead and fix that. I was actually doing it correctly. What I was doing wrong was over here in star map. So what I was doing wrong was, I thought what I was doing wrong was I was passing in this seed value, when in fact what I needed to do was store, this is not correct, we need to store this modified seed here. There we go. That way we'll have the correct random seed for each star, and we also choose a random number of ships. And then when we jump out of warp, we pass that stuff into the persistent player ship object, which catches it, and uh, and then saves it as as a uh, uh, as a static variable like so. And that just makes sure that we have all the values we need, so that when the level is loaded here, we actually can call. We can, f if it's if it's the battle level, which is level two, then we can grab the ship creator with the tag that I just showed you, and then pass in some sh some values. Like that. Uh, now, one of the things we need to keep in mind when we create these is that we need to create them at some point other than zero zero zero, and so I just created a, uh, where is the ship creator? Here it is. I just create them at a random point between negative 100 and 100 on the x and z axes. Remember z is a horizontal axis. So uh, let's go ahead and see whether that works. And um, it seems to have calmed down a little bit outside, so maybe I'll be able to finish this one. And I've closed Firefox, so it can't have any crazy errors. Oh. Uh, Oh, that's interesting. Uh, because there's no this, I can't do the the stupid this trick and name everything the same. There we go. So let's go ahead and see how that works. Oh, this is actually the... Uh, that is the battle scene, and without the player to actually trigger any kind of battle mechanic, or any kind of ship spawning, no ships will get spawned. So that's why that scene was empty. All right, so let's go ahead and go over to Hyodum Beta and uh, see what they have in store for us. And I won't be actually fighting these ships. I'll just be warping out after I take a look. All right, so we have a couple of ships here. It looks like we have... Whoa, that's cool looking. It looks like we have two enemy ships. Um, we've got one that has a red star and looks like this. And we've got one that 
that has a red star and looks like that. That looks like the same ship. I doubt that's coincidence. I have a feeling that our random seed uh, function is busted. Um, so if we go back into ship creator and we take a look at the random seed, no, we do actually set it. Maybe it could just be luck. I mean, there's not that many options, but let's go ahead and hop to a different star and make sure that we have something different. And then we'll hop back to the first star and make sure that, that we still have those same ships there. All right. Um, these are, in fact, different ships. These ones are yellow. Uh, and there's three of them. Uh, and they're all kind of bouncing off of each other, but that's a that's a bug we can fix later. So you can see that we have different kinds of ships depending on which star we visit. So let's go back to, I think it was Hudum Beta that we had the original cluster of ships at. Oh, yep, you can see there they are, the exact same two ships we fought the first time. So in this little short episode, uh, we have switched it over to creating battle scenes, and every time you visit a star, you get the same battle scene for that star. Now the battle scenes right now are extremely primitive, and maybe next time what we'll do is we'll make those battle scenes a little bit more interesting. Um, however, uh, in this episode I got a lot done in a very fast amount of time because I cheated and did a first take and then didn't delete all the stuff that I created on the first take. Uh, if, it, if you're confused about something, it's probably because of that. Alright, that's it.